Oh man, oh man. 2024 and you game developers just really aren't learning, are you? You got you guys are seeing these obvious mistakes out here and you're just it's not sinking in, is it? Oh no, we don't feel like dealing with certification and, and all that stuff. Oh boy, gamers and game ads, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the first descendant. Do remember, if you want to stay up to date on all things The First Ascendant, make sure you are liking today's video and subscribing to the channel if you are new. And let's go ahead and talk about into today's topic. Now, first and foremost, we actually have some good news for The First Ascendant. There is going to be one last beta test for this game where they want to test and iron out some technical issues and stuff like that and test their um their their technology and server and server testing and all that stuff right before their game launch because like like as you all know the game is promised for a summer 2024 launch they're having one final beta test from may 25th through may 27th which is probably the last weekend in may they purposely did it like this, this is going to be in an open beta format so they, and they purpose like i was saying before they purposely did it like this so that way you know they could stress test the servers get as many players as possible you guys know these are usually you know the kind of tests where they want to just see you know like how much they can flood the servers see what makes the game crash and stuff like that they want to basically get this bad boy ready before you know they take it out of the oven and serve it to us on a nice fresh plate however when they made this announcement during the dev stream yesterday with a lot of other you know goodies and solid information they made one very crucial mistake with this test and if you guys have seen you know how other games have launched this is probably a huge boo-boo that you do not want to do when it comes to um when it comes to games like this especially free to play live service games because they always get a, a a a rough a rough launch when when this happens this test is going to be pc only yes they are taking their final stress test on a cross play game that is releasing on current gen and last gen platforms and making that test pc only this game is going to be on ps4 ps5 Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One and PC, both Steam and Epic from what I know. And they just want to test PC in a open beta format. How many times have we done this song and dance? <laughs> Where they test the game on one platform because, you know, it's the easiest platform to develop for. Developers don't got to wait for certification and, and all that stuff. But then, you know, launch gets here and everything just goes haywire because they only tested one of several platforms. Now, granted, you know, console got to play in the last beta test, which I understand that we know the console version works. And they tried to give us, you know, that reassurance during the dev stream that, you know, consoles being developed right alongside PC. So, you know, it's not going to make an issue. But guys, how many times have we done this already? <laughs> And these dudes being under Nexon, Nexon of all people should know that this is not a wise idea. Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm trying to be optimistic, you know, I'm hoping First Ascendants launch and everything goes smooth, buttery and stuff like that, you know, because I plan on covering this game a lot. I have huge plans for this game here on the channel, so trust me, the last thing I want is to be dealing with a buggy, crash-filled, lag-filled, you know, server queue having launch. But when you don't test the game on multiple platforms, that's what happens every single freaking time. We just dealt with this with Gigantic. <laughs> we have done this with MMO after MMO, RPG after RPG, live service game after live service game, and they all keep doing the same stupid thing. I get it. Console is a more complicated platform. We know y'all have been saying it for decades now, but you're going to have to do the necessary work to get your launch right. And especially in a time frame where gamers are more cruel and critical than ever. And you know, and this game has got, don't, don't get me wrong, this game is highly anticipated. But you know, you already know how the world, how gamers are with looter shooters, live service, and, and stuff like that. Look, look at the criticism Suicide Squad received just because it was a live service looter shooter. 
Like, now, now don't get me wrong. This game's not Suicide Squad, but I'm saying, all right, you you already have yourself, you know, in, in a niche genre that people are, are getting fed up with and, and yada, yada, yada. You want to make sure you have a smooth launch so you give a f- first impression. And the smartest way to go about that is to do a proper test on all platforms. Not including console, especially, you know, when you're launching on so many different versions of them. It's probably one of the silliest moves that this dev team can make. Right before launch of all things. Come on. (laughs) I don't mean mean to rant, guys, but like I said, we have done this song and dance I don't know how many times now. And I'm excited nonetheless for X Defiant. I'm just hoping launch goes smoothly. If they really go about doing things this way. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. You enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.